Hi guys, it's me, Indiana Jones. Welcome to my channel. What do I do? I craft. Why do I do it? Because I love it. And today I was going to make a miniature little carousel with this little tiny little baby horse. But then I saw this horsey and well, battle of the horsey, this one won. So let's see what I made for Christmas in July. <laughs> This challenge is being hosted by my friend Corey of Crafted by Corey, so check out a wonderful playlist of great creators for other Christmas ideas. As I mentioned before, I was originally going to make a smaller version of a Christmas carousel, but I couldn't help myself once I saw those bigger horses. So let's get started using, yes, a paper towel roll that's going to be the center of my carousel. I'm also using those covers that you use for the range for the stove covers and i'm sorry i didn't get video of myself sweating outside and painting it but there you can see it's just one of those tin uh, stove covers stove top covers now to make a top all i did was i made a, a larger circle a slightly larger circle than the tin and i made it into a cone shape and there i was just gluing the cone shape and this is just made out of um, simple uh, poster board I suppose and now I'm using those two styrofoam rings that you get at the Dollar Tree and if you notice in the middle of the bottom part of my carousel I used the smaller stove range or stove top cover and I'm just made a hole like I made a donut out of the styrofoam circle so that I can post my little paper towel roll inside it was just so easy and um, that's basically all I am doing here but it was a great way to anchor that paper towel roll to the stovetop burner the burner tops I don't know what to call them you know what I'm talking about and then I did the same for the top so it would be easy for me to attach the carousel top now for the horses, I took them outside and I took off their manes and their tails and I spray painted them all in a chalky antique white. It's not perfectly white, but an antique white kind of finish. And um, it worked very well on these plastic horses. Now I'm using some moldable air dry clay and this is the Model Magic Clay. I use the Model Magic Clay because it's a little spongier and it's easier to form even once it's dried. And all I'm doing is making my little saddles for my little horses, as you can see. And uh, I like the idea of making the saddles, but it needed a little embellishment. So using that crockery stamps, yeah, you heard me right, crockery stamps from IOD, I stamped the edges of my saddles so they would have a nice little design. And it worked perfectly. And again, this is the Crayola model magic it's a little more spongy than their air dry clay which is perfect because it won't crack and it's very very pliable even after it dries now i'm making some more embellishments for the front of the horsey this one got stuck i think i forgot to put in the cornstarch and um yeah this came out really nice uh like i said this is a moldable clay i don't know if you call it clay it's a spongy i don't know it's cool, I like it, but you can get it everywhere. And it, it's fun for the kids too. So here I'm just going to form it around the neck of my horse. Stay up horse, oh my goodness. And there you can see where I'm going to put, it's like, it's gonna be, you'll see, it's gonna come out really cute. But uh, it's like they're reins. So there you have it. That's how I'm going to add all these embellishments to my little horsies. And here you can see all the little saddles that I made for my horsies. Using my plaid family of products, of course, I am now painting using all their acrylic paints. So I think this is folk art or apple barrel, but I love the colors that they have and it's perfect to paint all of my embellishments for my little horsey. Next, I needed to create a new tail and mane, of course. So I'm using this beautiful, colorful twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I thought, what a beautiful color combination. It's a very light green and a pinkish red, actually. And so here I am, all I'm doing is gathering up all the twine to make a tail. Yes, I think I started with the tail. And you know, it's so much fun to make these horses. If you have a chance to do this, and if you have a little girl especially, oh my gosh, I think they would go nuts. So I used some wax paper and put down some glue first so it would be easy to glue all of these strands together. 
Yes, I realize that I am I'm showing you my horsey's butt, but I have to so that I can glue its new little tail. Look how cute it looks. I love it with this twine and it's just so cute and perfectly Christmassy. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the mane, of course, smaller. It's not going to be as long as the tail. And here I am just gathering the twine once again. And same process, I had glued it down onto the wax paper and created a easy way to add the mane right to where the initial mane was and it just looks perfect. Next, I'm going to use these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was perfect to add some embellishments to my horsey without having to paint them or draw them myself. So all it is is a rub-on transfer, place it and rub it on. And now let's see if I messed it up. Here's the reveal. Wow, look how cool. Cool little horsey. I love it. It's coming out great. After I did the rub on transfer, I decided to use some gold leaf and add some more embellishments to my saddle. Now, using my Sure Bonder glue gun, I just used the tip and I made the perfect size hole for my dowel. And the dowels are from the Dollar Tree. It was the perfect way to do it. I didn't crack the horse or damage it in any way and as I said made the perfect size for my dowel and I did it both to the top and to the bottom. Make sure you do this before you put on any other embellishments and there you have it my little carousel horse and of course I had already made holes for the saddle so it was very easy to just attach it once my I guess carousel pole was on and there you have it. Once you have the saddle fitting correctly, all I would do is secure it with hot glue or E6000 or Gorilla Glue and continue adding embellishments. Here I added some beautiful metal roses that I received from BB Craft. BB Craft has many wonderful crafting supplies and there you can see how lovely the roses look with my carousel horse. For each separate horse, of course, you would, of course, yeah, a horse, of course, <laughs> for each separate horse, you would follow the same process of creating a new mane, creating uh, the embellishments and the saddles. I'm not going to go through each and every one, but this one, for example, has more traditional Christmas colors. I just thought it was great. And I used dragonfly paint from plaid on the saddle to give it that extra shimmer. Love these little poinciera buttons that I found. For the third horse, or little carousel horse, I decided to paint the horsey white and just make it a very classic white and gold carousel horse. Again, I used those Dollar Tree gold rub-on transfers and as you can see, it's just adorable. I love the details. Now I'm using rope instead of threads or twine for the mane. I just wanted some really big mane and um, tail because this is like the white golden horse, like the prince horse or whatever you want to call it. I just want it to be really extra, you know, kind of like me. If I was a horse, I'd probably be this horse. It's a little extra, a little more blingy. Um, it just seems weird watching me putting like hot glue on a horse's butt, but there it is. I don't know if it'll ever happen again, but there it is. Look at that, look at that tail. That's a, that's a stately tail right there. And here I am putting on the mane. Again, I had so much fun doing this. I don't know why I didn't think of doing this sooner in life, but it was, it was fun. And now I'm adding more embellishments that again, I made with that model magic, as you can see, just adorable. And I gave him like gold, hoofs it's a, it's a cute horse it really is i had so much fun and of course it's like i have to completely bling up this horse so i used some of that bling ribbon from the dollar tree as you can see on the top and the bottom and added some more of those beautiful metal roses from bb crafts This challenge is being hosted by my friend Corey of Crafted by Corey. So check out a wonderful playlist of great creators for other Christmas ideas. 
Oh, hey, so it was fun decorating the horses, but I forgot I have to continue decorating the actual carousel. So here I'm using some, bleh, some Christmas craft paper that I just had hanging around because, you know, I have a small Hobby Lobby right here in my garage. And I'm um, just using some green and red paper that I felt was kind of Victorian looking and creating the different segments of my carousel top and uh yeah it was fun trying to figure out how to like size this but as you can see i just made some lines and then from the lines i made a model and, and, and there 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 you go it's all done all done cut them up and just glue them on with some mod podge mod podge and uh don't worry about the seams because we're going to cover the seams i was worried about the seams at first and i said you know like I always say, if, if it doesn't come out right, just cover it in bling or glitter or flowers or what have you. So here I'm using some of that self-adhesive bling ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Gosh, the Dollar Tree. Love the Dollar Tree. Don't we all? I mean, wow. All these crafting issues that are resolved with Dollar Tree products just like that. Boom. So now it's time to add embellishments to our actual carousel. First things first, let's use some of that bling ribbon. Yes, so easy. So that's that paper towel roll that I just covered in white paper, which in hindsight, I could have covered in silver paper to make it more sparkly, but the white paper works. Just make sure it's not that cardboard because you will be seeing it through that bling wrap. And uh, there you go, you can finish it. You can also get bling wrap from Totally Dazzled, because it's totally dazzling. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to use some more of that Model Magic clay. I love it because it is a spongy clay and it stays flexible and does not crack. Here I am painting it with my gold leaf paint from Plaid. And I just, ugh, again, I love it because look how moldable, it's dry. The clay is pretty dry, but it's still moldable, and uh, I can still cut it easily without cracking and add my embellishments. I also added some scrapbook paper to the bottom of the carousel and painted the other uh, stovetop cover. Now I'm balancing my little horsey. And what I used was some of that moldable magic clay at the bottom, and I secured it with Gorilla Glue and hot glue. I'm doing the same for the top of the carousel horses um, for their poles. And there you see, I just added the top of the carousel easily with that moldable magic. And I added some more bling because I realized you can see the styrofoam. And I added some Christmas tree and, and some lights because it's a Christmas carousel. And here it is. So what do you think? Oh my goodness, I could not believe that it came out as good as it did. I don't know, I really think it came out really well. I want to put more embellishments and maybe even make a bigger version for Christmas. I don't know, maybe if I have time. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like, share, and subscribe and come back for more. Anyway, as I always say, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you, and remember to live the adventure. How do I put music to this now? <laughs>